Hello, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, Guru, and this is the last of my three-part series on Google Places. By now you know why Places is so important, since it powers maps, earth, mobile, and universal search. You also know how to get your PIN, you know how to control the email address you use, and now I want to show you how to optimize your local search listing. So just, just do a Google search for Google Places, go into Google Places, You'll log on with the username and email that you had when you signed in or signed up and then when you signed in you'll find the dashboard for your listing. This happens to be the dashboard for all your local search. <coughs> so here we can see um, the amount of traffic, uh, impressions and actions that have occurred over the period of August 24th to September 20th. Different search queries and things, nine clicks to more info maps, two clicks to the website. So there you have it. A couple of things I want to show you about this. This is where you edit your listing, though. And there are a number of interesting things. First of all, there's anecdotal evidence to suggest that by having a coupon, um, you get better placement in Google. So I highly recommend that you all consider adding a coupon to your um, listing. It can be a discount on a first-time offer, or a two-for-one sale, or whatever. They also now allow almost a posting situation here, where you can post something and it expires in 30 days. So this is almost like a mini blog or a Twitter. You can respond to reviews that have been um, done by other people on your site, and I'm going to talk more about that. But here's where you go in and edit your information. So if we just come across here and click Edit, you'll see the Aussie Web uh, Local Business Listing uh, presentation and where it is. And, and this is the screen that you're going to have and the same sort of information. Now, Google rewards completeness. And if we went on that last page, you would have seen that it said it was 100% complete. So you've got your country, your organization, your street, your name, town, all this information, contact details. You should have an email address and a website. A description, and you're limited to uh, uh, 200 characters max. Uh, business to business uh, categories. You know, you're allowed up to, uh, uh, which categories up to five best describe your business. Uh, so you've got business to business, and service and internet, you can add extras. Make sure you use up to five if you can. Um, this is very important now. This is location information. So if they come to your business, you click no, all customers come to your business. But if you service different areas and it's multiple, you have two ways to do this. You can either click a distance from your location. So if, you're, uh, if you drive out and do quotes and do construction, you can say, you know, I would go miles or kilometers from my location. Or in my case, I wanted to put in all the capital cities to show basically that I cover all of Australia with my service delivery. Here you have your hours of operations. Oh, by the way, just so it's up here, you do have the option to not show your address on maps. Now this is important, let's say you run a dog washing business, you don't want people showing up with their dogs at your house because it's a mobile service, you can tick that. You do have to have a, a valid uh, postal address, but you do not have to have it displayed here. And then you type the payments that you receive. You should include photos. I've included qualification tags, pictures of myself and my staff, pictures of our logo. Um, and also, you're, up to, you're allowed up to 10 of those. You're allowed up to five image uh, videos, and I've got two YouTube videos that I've embedded here. You can put in extra information, so area served, type of pricing, parking, all this sort of stuff. Very, very important. The more comprehensive you make this listing, the more likely you're going to get to uh, be successful in listing in local search. So once that's all done, you just submit that and you can save that information. Um, they do give you the option to um, view it in the uh, from here to view your listing. Now this is very important. I want you to notice one thing. Reviews are highly ranked. Google really likes reviews. So the thing to do once you have your listing that's under verified is go to these little links up here where it says email. It'll open your email program pre-propagated with your address and you can send this to clients and, and friends and friendlies and have them do a review for you, right? Or you can click on the link and copy that link into you know, blog posts and everything else. You can direct people to your site. This will allow you to get better rankings because uh, you have reviews and Google highly values reviews. So there you go. Bulk out, finish out your listing, make it, make it prominent, include video, include pictures, include logos, Make it as comprehensive as possible, and you're going to have the best chance for coming out on top. Thanks. This is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru.